The fundamental accounting equation, also called the balance sheet equation, is simply an expression of the relationship among assets, liabilities, and owner's equity in a business. It is the foundation for the double entry bookkeeping system. For each transaction, the total debits equal the total credits. Let's move on and know which are called assets, liabilities, and owner's equity of your company. Assets are cash, bank balance, accounts receivable, machinery, land, furniture. These are assets of your company. And among them, uh, some are short-term assets and some are long-term assets. So the assets which you hold for less than one year are, your, are the short-term assets. So here cash, bank balance and accounts receivable are short-term assets. And the assets that you hold for more than one year, so th those are called long-term assets. So machinery, land, furniture, you'll not hold uh, these, uh, these assets for less than one year, right? So you go, you're gonna holding machinery, land, and furniture. So these uh, assets are gonna exist in your company for more than one year, and these are called long-term assets. Liabilities are payables, bank dates, or any other dates. So if you purchase anything on account, it creates accounts payable, so it becomes a liability for you, right? Or you might have to take loans from banks or from any other organizations or from your relatives or any any person so it they it creates liability for you okay owner security contains capital revenues expenses and drawings if you see the equation you understand that if any transaction occurs that creates capital and revenues it will ultimately increase the owner security of your company and if transaction occurs where um, you know you incur expenses or drawings it uh, ultimately decreases the owner's equity of your company so you have to add capital and revenues and you have to subtract expenses and drawings now I give you an example to understand the difference between capital and drawing suppose you are the owner and you give a pencil to your business to your company so it becomes the capital for your business okay and if you take if you take a pencil from your business for your personal use it becomes the drawing for your company okay so it means that if you take anything from your business for personal use it becomes a drawing and if you give anything to your business as an owner if you give anything to your business it becomes capital now let's see three transactions you can see in your display and we'll try to solve this math and we'll see how a equal to l plus oe happens first transaction is taking hundred dollar loan from bank so if you take hundred dollar loan from bank what are you gonna get you you're gonna get dollar right so your money your cash will increase so in the asset side you will uh, you'll write you'll write down plus hundred dollar okay and if you take loan it will increase your liability because you have to pay it back the loan with interest someday right so in the liability side you have to increase hundred dollar so in the asset side the there is plus hundred dollar cash and on the liability side there's plus hundred dollar debt okay the second transaction is selling products for $50. Again, if you sell something uh, for a dollar and you, you're gonna get what? You're gonna get cash. So on the asset side, cash is your asset, right? Your short time asset. So on the asset side, it's gonna increase your asset, right? So plus $50. And if you sell something, it's gonna increase your revenue, right? So on the owner security side, you're gonna add fifty dollar. So there's plus fifty on the asset side, and there's plus fifty on the owner security side. Let's see what is the third transaction. Third transaction is purchasing goods on account for forty dollar. So you're purchasing goods on account here. So you're not paying cash instantly. So it creates accounts payable you have to pay back that amount for some in some day right 
so on the liability side it gonna increase your liability for for forty dollar and if you purchase something that means it's you know it's an expense though you're not paying it right now but you have to pay someday right so it's gonna increase your expense so on the owner security side you're gonna you know deduct forty dollar from owner security because it, it creates expenses right now if you add up the asset size amount you get hundred dollar cash plus fifty dollar cash is equal to hundred and fifty dollar cash the liability side there's hundred dollar cash plus forty dollar uh, sorry hundred dollar date plus forty dollar accounts payable is equal to hundred and forty dollar plus on the owner security side there's fifty dollar sale minus purchase is forty dollars so ten dollars so if you add up one forty dollar plus ten dollar you get one fifty dollar so you see there is a balance right asset is hundred and fifty dollar and uh, liability plus owner equity is hundred and fifty dollar see the both side has the same amount of money though both side was not involved in each transaction i mean to say is that for the first two transaction asset was involved but for the third transaction asset was not involved liability and owner security was involved right but at the end of the equation you see the asset size is equal to liability plus owner security side 